What is up, fellow Power Fanatics? It's Pimp Daddy 28 here. And today I'm going to do an unboxing and weigh in of the Continuum artillery shells or canister shells by uh, uh, Pyro Planet. Uh, picked up these from uh, WF Boom uh, by the case uh, for with the 40% discount for about 140 bucks. So pretty much you get four boxes in a case, so it came out to about $35 uh, per box, which was a pretty darn good deal, uh, at least in my opinion. Uh, so this will be one of the uh, canister shells uh, that I'll be using in the canister shell comparison. Um, as you see here, box has a pretty nice design. Uh, they even got a performance uh, written at the bottom here. We got 24 specially designed artillery shells for maximum effect. Individual effects listed on the shells. And this is pretty much self-explanatory. I mean, you don't really need to explain uh, how uh, canister shells fire. I'm pretty sure anyone who's fired a canister shell knows how it works by now. Um, at any rate, uh, like I said, that uh, this box, uh, you see the shells list, uh, shown on the side of the box here. And uh, now the effects aren't listed on the box uh, them, uh, pretty much themselves. Uh, you got to kind of look at the shells if you want to see the effects uh, or all the effects. I don't know if I'm going to unbox the whole thing. I'll probably do like maybe one sleeve, maybe two, uh, depending upon how long this video gets. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, we'll get to the unboxing uh, right now. So let me uh, pause the video real quick and I'll take out a sleeve so we could uh, look at these bad boys. All right, uh, so I was able to take out uh, one sleeve here and uh, you get a fiberglass tube. Uh, be careful because uh, these things can kind of have uh, sharp uh, edges on them and you could definitely uh, cut your finger pretty easily. So be careful uh, when you're taking these out again. I mean, obviously for people who uh, are kind of saving money, they'd probably rather use the fiberglass tubes. But if you can, uh, use the uh, HDPE tubes instead because uh, uh, those are definitely just more more efficient and definitely don't bug bug or bother you like these because not only do these th uh, things have like uh kind of sharp edges with the uh, fiberglass uh the way these are made it's kind of like flimsy so uh, be careful with this um but also the uh, wooden base has uh, uh wooden splinters on them that get in your hands very easily and it could definitely be annoying i have to use tweezers multiple times to whenever i handle things like this uh, just to get the, the splinters out of my hand so be careful with this um should have probably put some uh, latex gloves on but eh, the hell with it um, so yeah, uh, you get one fiberglass tube, or four fiberglass tubes, sorry, uh, one in each sleeve. And, uh, here are the shells that I took out. Um, let me get the, uh, scale on real quick. All right. And the first one is brocade to red. And we got 139. Second one is brocade crown with crackling. 134. Third one is Red Palm. 137. Fourth one is Big Silver Chrysanthemum. 133. So pretty much in the, low, in the 130s. Red and Green with White Strobe. 138. And the last one is Green Palm. And we got 149, so that's the heaviest one. All right, uh, so that's pretty much the unboxing and weigh-in of the Continuum uh, canister shells by Power Planet. Uh, we'll probably use, uh, for the canister shell comparison, I'm, I'm going to use probably a brocade with a uh, green color effect, or at least brocade with a color effect. And the second shell, I'll probably use just colors for the most part. So it's gonna, I'm going to try to keep it as consistent as possible with the effects. Obviously, the x scowls are probably going to be mislabeled. So, um, so yeah. Uh, so be on the lookout uh, for more unboxing videos uh, of the Excaliburs, of the Venom artillery shells, and the uh, firearm shells. And uh, probably uh, come out with those hopefully over the next few days uh, as I get closer to this weekend, which is when I'll probably be letting off uh, pretty much all my uh, compare demo comparisons. So, Alright, this is Pimp Day 28 and I'll see you guys next time.